You've probably seen this happen. A semi truck barrels down the interstate, switches lanes, cuts off another car. It's a scenario that can just make you clench your teeth. Well, today, Arizona Highway Patrol officers are tracking down these commercial vehicle culprits. Not on your side, Corey Marshall was right there with them, and she joins us live near I 10 and Colt. Corey? And Jen, we're talking about speeding semis, drowsy truck drivers, and cars getting cut off on a very busy stretch of highway. 1656. Cracking down on commercial vehicles. When we conduct the stop, we try to look for a safe spot. Nine in your side rode alongside Arizona Highway Patrol Officer Marco Alvarez with the Commercial Vehicle Bureau. If we don't keep an eye on the drivers, make sure they're not driving over hours, they're not driving too tired, uh, or driving with a uh, equipment that's falling apart or something. When they wreck, when they cause a collision, and it hurts a lot of people. Commercial vehicle stops are unique. Officers don't need a reason to pull over an 18-wheeler. In fact, most stops start as an inspection. Uh, you switch lanes, you went right in front of it, but you never did signal. And that's exactly the case in our first stop of the day. You have the insurance with you there too? Alvarez checks the driver's log, license, and registration. You sign right there with the exit ad and sign the other one. And I'll give you your copy here in a little bit. A few minutes later, Officer Alvarez stops truck driver Ruben Sanchez for speeding along this stretch of I-10 between Rita and Kolb. Not much. No problems or About an hour or two. Upon closer look, Alvarez finds the longtime truck driver is over his hours. By law, truck drivers are only allowed to drive 11 hours straight before a break. Does that ever occur to you that maybe going over your logbook a little bit? might be a little bit of a safety concern on the road, not just for you, but for the other drivers? Not, not necessarily, not necessarily. I mean, you can do your 11 hours and still, you know, it's daylight. I mean, you've already eaten. And but those are the rules, though. Yeah, they're yeah. more the rules, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, you, you, and you realize, too, that you were a little bit over today? Just a little, yes. Dallas bound Sanchez says if he were truly tired, he would stop before someone else does. Now it's important to mention officers see semis cutting off cars, but they also see the complete opposite cars cutting off semis, which is just as dangerous. Live near I-10, Corey Marshall, KGA 9 on your side. Corey, it is a scary scenario, especially along that long stretch of I-10. Officers give you any indication as to how big of a problem drowsy truck drivers can be? Yeah, I actually asked several of the officers that just because, like you said, it's a scary scenario, and they said that it's a huge problem. A lot of the times they see drivers falsifying their hours, so they're driving way past the allotted 11 hours of drive time. Jen. Corey, thanks so much.